Hey everybody, Darren Boros here. Today I'm coming to you from my bathtub because I want to show you a very quick and simple plumbing repair that you can make to your leaky shower valve. This is a plumbing repair that I believe most people can handle as long as you have some basic tools and a little bit of know-how. This simple repair can save us hundreds of dollars a year as homeowners or as landlords, which doesn't seem like a lot, but if you have multiple properties and you're able to save that over a variety of properties, there's significant savings that can add up over time. So I wanna walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how you can replace this shower cartridge on a very common fixture that we see in a lot of rental properties. And instead of hiring a plumber at let's say $100 a service call, all you need to do is buy the right part, which is about $10 at your local plumbing supply. You might ask what the actual cost savings on something like this would be. And I did a little bit of research. The shower is dripping 10 times per minute. So that adds up to about four liters of water per day. If you multiply that by 365 days, you get about 1,500 liters of water per year. If the average cost of water is about half a cent per liter, you're saving yourself about $10 a year. So the cost of this part, it's absolutely paid for with just making this simple repair. If you're new to me and my channel, I talk about three main subjects, real estate investing strategies, tips and techniques, financial freedom and renovation and construction. If you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. This is kind of the first video that I've done like this. So if you'd like to see more videos specifically on renovation, you can leave that in the comments below. And if you would not like to see any more videos like this, that's fine too. You can leave those comments as well. So without further ado, let's get into this. So the first thing we wanna do when we're making any plumbing repair is turn off the main water supply to the fixture. Now, because most showers don't have isolation valves on them, we have to actually go to the main water shut off and shut off the main from there. So now that the water is shut off, I actually wanna to test to make sure that the water is actually not on. So I'm just gonna turn the fixture on and make sure that there's no water coming out of the actual fixture. Now I know that that water's been shut off and it's isolated from here. So this is a very common Moen system you see in a lot of properties. Uh, it's called a Moen Positemp valve. Now your handle might look slightly different than this one, but the guts of these Moen valves are all pretty much the same, but the trim package can be different. So I'll grab my Allen keys. These are Imperial Allen keys and I'll keep testing to find the right one. And this one is actually a 332nd Allen key. So all I do is put that in there. I'll just loosen that off and this should come out relatively easy. Another thing, another tip that I should have said before we got started is make sure you close the drain off so that when you start taking things apart, you don't lose any screws down the drain. So very simply, I'm just gonna remove this set screw to take this handle off. And now you can see we've exposed the, the guts of the tap. And this is a very simple procedure from this point on. We just wanna to start to take everything apart. So I'm gonna take this little set screw out here, which is a Phillips head, and then I'm gonna take these two screws off here to be able to remove this entire plate. So once my screws are out, now I'm just gonna take the face plate off and I'm gonna take this cover off as well. And now I'm exposed to the actual valve that we wanna replace here. And there's a little clip at the top here that's holding this entire valve in place. So if the plumbing pressure was on, that clip is the only thing holding that valve in, otherwise it would shoot straight out from the wall. Now I wanna caution you, this clip is a little tricky to get out and because this is inset into the tile, and there's a wall cavity behind here, you wanna make sure you don't drop this clip down into the wall. So instead of using something like a flathead screwdriver, I'm gonna use some needle nose pliers so I can actually grab it and pull it out of there. So now that I've removed this little clip, the only thing that's holding this valve in place is just friction. So I'm gonna take a set of pliers and I'm gonna pull this out. Now, depending on how long this valve has been in here, you may have to give a little bit of pressure on here to get this valve out of the wall. So I'm just gonna clamp on there and I'm gonna to start to pull straight out. And there you go. There's the old valve there. Now this one doesn't seem to be in bad shape, but it is leaking. So I'm gonna just replace it with a brand new valve. So this is the replacement valve that I got from my local plumbing supply. Now, if you're not sure what valve you have, you can always disassemble your shower fixture, take the valve out and then go to the store and get the right one from there. Because I knew which one I was looking for, I was actually able to just go and ask them for a Moen Positemp replacement shower valve and this is what they gave me. In the package comes the valve itself and then they're also gonna give you some silicone lubricant. So this is a waterproof lubricant that you're gonna to apply to the valve before you slide it back into the cartridge. So I'm just gonna take this lubricant and I'm just gonna apply it to all of the rubber gaskets here. And this just allows the, the fixture to slide in very easily. 
So if you look at this valve, on the valve is an H and a C, hot and cold. And in a standard installation, hot is on the left and cold is on the right. Before taking the valve out of the mechanism, you may wanna look and see if it's actually installed in that order because this is actually a reversible cartridge so that plumbers sometimes flip it around because the hot water might be coming in from the opposite side. But in this case, it's a standard installation, so hot is on the left and cold is on the right. So I'm just gonna take this valve now and I'm just very simply gonna slide it back into place. And that's it. So once the valve is back into place, now all I need to do is just reassemble everything in the exact opposite order that I took it apart. So I'm first gonna grab my clip that I took out, take my needle nose pliers, and this is a bit of a tight installation, so I'm gonna try to get this back in exactly the way that it came out. When this clip goes back in, you just wanna make sure these two teeth at the bottom here slide out through the bottom of the actual valve and don't get redirected towards the front of the valve. But you'll notice that it's seating properly here when it's actually down in there. Now that that clip is into place, now I just reassemble the valve with all of these additional parts. So the last thing we took off was this protective cover. Put that on, then I'll put the faceplate back on. And I would suggest hand tightening these screws as far as you possibly can, so that you know they're actually threaded. Uh, I would very rarely use uh, a power drill in this situation. Once I've got them started by hand, then I can finish them off with a screwdriver. Now I want to tighten these screws down enough because there's a, a seal on the back of this faceplate so that the seal actually presses down into the tile so you don't have any water leakage. From there I'm going to grab the temperature control pieces, slide those back in. The only thing that's left now is to put the handle back on and I'm just going to put it in place and then I'm going to actually spin it up so I can work on it on a much easier angle once that's in place. Now I just need to go and turn the water back on, test it to make sure it's not leaking and we're good to go. So now that the water's back on, I'm gonna test the tap here. And you may wanna let it run for a few seconds to make sure you've got the hot and cold valve in correctly. So once you feel the hot water coming out and it's all the way to the left, you know you're good to go. So there you have it, a very simple repair that we can make on a common shower valve that we see in many of our rental properties and also in a lot of our homes. The tools I used for this job were very simple. I used a 332 Allen wrench, a set of needle nose pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, and another set of pliers. If you found this video helpful, if you can go ahead and hit that like button below, that just helps the YouTube algorithm place this video in front of the right audience. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. If you've got future renovation topics you'd like me to discuss, you can leave those in the comments section below as well. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success in your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.